Well. Alright. That's a lie. God, this game sucks. Say is who? Me. I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Also, the fact that it was sound activated and meteor showers don't make sound. Oof! There's so many holes here that they're like ignoring. The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Well, why is this important? I think there are other holes in this testimony that you could go after, but I guess this is what you're going after. Alright, it's the... Take a look at this. It's this. Take that. This is what you were trying to put. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy? Ah, the setting in Gord Lake! Well, Miss Hart, I never heard of no lake monster. You got some proof or something? Let's see you prove that I was out down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. I have proof. I have it. Proof. Intriguing. Well, let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. It's this. Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here taken when a gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you would set your camera to respond to loud noises. This is the contradiction I'm going after. As, again, there are many others that are much more relevant. And... It's, it's really annoying to me that they're just ignoring them. I see, I, do, I thought it was a little strange. Yeah. Well, Miss Hart? Are you gonna commit more, are you gonna p commit perjury again? Are you gonna do it? You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah, not bad. Are you lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Yeah. That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. You just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than what the, what, that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. <laughs> I have to agree with him there! <laughs> hey! Shut your mouth, you city boy! I was born in a place that has more dirt in a house than is in your entire yard! I, I don't know where I'm going with that metaphor and why it's important, but it's just like the last couple of minutes of this case has been. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of it. Miss Hart, why did you hide the heck? Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what the scoop it would be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, 
I looked straight out at the teenagers that were banging. But then I heard a gunshot, and I looked straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I watched that boat the whole time. And I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time, crossed my heart, and hoped to pry. That's not how that goes. Well, Mr. Rat, you may cross-examine the witness. The witness testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. Yeah. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Uh, Objection! Objection. I claim the defense is right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Can I finally get the thing about the bullets now? Very well! You can cross-examine Ah, uh, that would be a first. <laughs> bah, the, he real he really got he really got Phoenix. You understand this is the last chance at a cross examination, Mr. Rat. This is an incredibly This is an incredibly unfair justice system. There is no problem with the testimony this time. We will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Even though there was ta uh, there was another witness. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that was all I was hiding. Ah, I think what they're trying to say is... I think what they're going at is they're trying to say that it was... They don't know who who fired the gun. They don't you don't know that Edgeworth fired the gun. Alright. There wasn't much else to look at. Yep. I don't know. If she heard a bang and thought Gordy was out there, I kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What did I- what did I do now? What do you might look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at that time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe he shot from some other place? I don't think so, nope. The lake was as smooth as glass, and nobody was on the shore, neither. Hmm. I swear, if I have to press this, and she was like, Well, I was hiding one thing, other thing. And they, this what unravels the entire case, but if, I don't know. I chose not to reveal it for some fucking reason. When I heard the bang, I looked straight out at the lake. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. Maybe it was a katana. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. All right. What am I? What do I? What do I? What evidence do I have? Oh, 
Nope. I'm gonna save again. Looking for God, I should just get out a walkthrough. What exact? Oh, right. What exactly am I supposed to present? I don't know what... I thought it was back to the thing that I I had already thought was a contradiction, but I guess not. I'm gonna load... Oh my god. Maybe I have to go... I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if Lord got out what I was up to, the lake would be swarming with competitors. Competitors? Yes, yeah, second-rate shoulder bugs trying to steal my scoop. Ah, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Oops. Well, actually... Mr. Wright, she was literally about to say something that she was hiding something. <laughs> and, and, and Von Karma's like, Oh, uh oh, 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 uh, oh, uh, say so- Yell, I'll oh, yell. Whatever you say, Von Karma, I know you told her to keep it quiet. Guess I'll press everything. I'm not sure I'm highfalutin enough to be called a manor of anything. In an investigative reporter? Yep, you get your photo, sell it to the press. It's that kind of business. Hey, I was taking pictures at my sister's graduation last year. And guess what? Um, what? There was, there was a UFO just to hang in. Ha a UFO. You know, uh, unidentified flying object. A UFO. That's when I had a sort of revelation. I knew I should become an investigative photographer. I see. Kind of a shaky basis for a career. Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah! They even got had him up on the TV. I'm not sure that appearing on the local news rumor of the month segment qualifies. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill, I believe. I I like to believe that Phoenix keeps up with that. Hey, they had also had a picture of him in the newspaper for real. Mr. Wright, no one reads newspapers anymore. This is a one fight I do not believe you can win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, Your Honor. Hold it. 
that's why you put the automatic sensor on your camera? Yep, borrowed it from a university professor. It analyzes every sound it picks up, and when it gets a bang, it snaps a shot. Yep. So how many pictures has it taken so far? The only time the camera triggered was that night. <laughs> it's... What am I... I know what the contradiction is. But I don't know what I have to do to let the game know that it's... <laughs> that I figured it out. <laughs> I don't know how do people like this game <laughs> it's not <laughs> this is not a this is not this makes no sense Is, do I have to pre present this? Oh, really? That's what I have. I have to just be stupider. I have to be stupider to play this game. I have to be stu more stupid. Were you really looking at that boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person be looking at it. I agree, any normal person would. But you're a freak. But you are far from normal. <laughs> What? <laughs> you all want to step over here and say that? Are we in a court of law and this is a murder trial? This feels more like a circus. You are camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Yeah, think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Did you, Mr. Red? You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? Hmm, well, uh, well, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might have been out there. And... Miss Hart! Are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. I'm. F I was committing perjury. That's legally admissible in court, right? <laughs> I just thought I'd commit perjury. I kind of thought I'd commit perjury. I was sure I was committing perjury. I was sure I was watching the boat until now. This is a totally uncalled for. But hey, you got the photograph. You got proof. <clears throat> Still, we can't see who is shooting who in this. Right, right. That's why I took this photo and. Witness, that's enough. You've had a long day. Shut your mouth. Shut my mouth? I refuse to say pie hole. What was she going to say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really, but you really can't tell the 
from the photo who's shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of my, but it should let us see who's who. She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged something, that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth. Or worse, yeah, I mean, it's murder. It's gonna be an execution. What should I do? Make her show the enlargement. Mmm. <laughs> I'm sure that's not an innuendo. Miss Hart, look at this photo. Look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? Because it did not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. You old fool. I testify in a court of law that I am committing perjury. Wait, isn't that a contradiction? What's the... What's the meaning of this, Von Karma? Uh, um... Miss Hart. Show... Show the photograph to the court. Show us the enlargement! The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection to that! The witness will show the enlargement to the court! That's so... It's so... It's an innuendo. What the right... I'm writing this down. Ah, I dropped my pen! Damn you. This is garbage. This game is not It's it's fun, I guess. But it's enraging. Here it is. I had it on me. Hmm, we still can't see who's firing in this. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Hmm. There has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. And little good it has done any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. I suppose it means the class examination is over, obviously. Then I... Well, that declares a cross examination of Miss Ladderheart! And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time! Mr. Von Karma, would you like to add anything else? I stated everything I needed to when the trial began. Decisive evidence, a decisive witness. What else could possibly re be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Except, I know Mr. Wright's gonna object and say something reasonable, but I'm gonna dismiss it out of hand, cause I'm a dick! There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. Ah, uh, I can't use spirit magic to cheat! Oh no, I'm screwed! This is bad, real bad. What should I do? I know what it is! Wait! Your Honor, this evidence. I believe we have spent enough time talking about evidence. Hmm, indeed! We've heard opinions on every piece of evidence, but this enlargement. I see no point in retracing our steps. Okay. 
There is something decidedly strange about this enlargement. It's lasted for more than three hours! What? <laughs> Mr. Rat, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Left hand. It's the left hand. Um, yeah, left hand. Here, Your Honor. Shoot it? Come on, we still haven't discussed the number of shots. I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter? It's strange. Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. I'm sure this handedness will never be used again. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that left hand contradicts. It's this. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edward's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. I bet Von Karma used a completely random bullet and gun. And he's like, this is the murder weapon and the bullet. <laughs> and I got Edgeworth's fingerprints on it. Yes, Your Honor. You've given us definitive proof today. We will now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do, the, do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Wasn't there another, vic or another witness? Who but the defendant? Larry! The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Is that really what we're going with? So, you're saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm gonna be a dick about it. But suicide is out of the question. What? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? The victim was sheer, clearly shot from further than a meter away. A meter? That's three feet. Yeah. I think Edgeworth was closer than a meter in that thing. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Shot from approximately one meter away. Hmm. I see. Very well, allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the, situa the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. Even though the only piece of evidence linking him to the crime is the fingerprints, which don't add up. <laughs> However, the prints on the gun reveal that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. Thank Christ. And the court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> That is all. This court is adjourned. Yeah. Whoo, that was a close one. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but 
what happened out there on the lake anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. You know, with the murder investigation. Hmm. Look. I'm gonna go check on Maya. She's in jail. Right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Would it kill you to just state how you really feel with a thanks, Edgeworth? It would! He is cursed. He's a cursed man. I recommend a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. I... They still haven't addressed the fact that she said there were two gunshots and there were three bullets fired from the gun and there was only one bullet in the victim. It's a it's dumb. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I I have something to do in like half an hour. Alright, um, uh, title screen, yes. Alright, well, that's it. I, I guess, are there people here? Is that a thing? Are you here? I don't know. Tell me if you're here. OBS tells me two viewers, but it could just be bots. Who knows? OB also, OBS lies all the time. So, you know, whatever. Uh. Well. No one, uh... No one... Guess no one's here. That's, uh... Pure... OBS is telling... Giving me contradicting information. Just like the game! Wow. Art imitates life and all that. Let me see if I can get some better information. This is exhausting. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with my phone? It's not connecting to the internet. live I have no clue I could be not live for all I know and I think is my phone disconnected from the internet what this is confusing and I'm, I'm just waiting for people to tell me if they're here and they're not apparently OBS is still telling me that there's two viewers so No 
I... I'm so confused. Did that even... St whatever. 